I think I would sum up pastoral ministry in terms of the way the Apostle Paul puts the pastor amidst apostles, prophets, evangelists, and teachers. He uses the term pastor, which in Greek really means shepherd, and he talks about the fact that shepherds uh, are called to teach the people of God. The pastor's key responsibility is to feed the flock of Christ with the word of Christ. Shepherds also are responsible to protect the flock. And we see that in Psalm 23, Jesus is the good shepherd. John 10, Jesus is the great shepherd of the sheep. And we see that uh, the Lord critiques Israel's Old Testament shepherds for failing to protect the flock from those who attack them. So the pastor is to exercise the word to protect God's people from false doctrine as well. I think of the way the Apostle Paul talks to the elders of the church at Ephesus in Acts 20 in his really farewell address to them. And he calls them to shepherd, using that pastoral language, shepherd the flock of God because as he says there are going to be wolves that will come in from outside, false teachers that will try to lead the flock away. And he says, even among yourselves, there may be leaders whose motives are not as pure as they ought to be. So he says, not only watch for the dangers that come from outside, but hold each other accountable as faithful shepherds of the flock. So it's important that pastors understand what the scriptures teach. It's important that uh, pastors have a discerning mind to be able to tell when a view that's being presented is really not in accord with the scriptures. Paul emphasizes that when he writes to Titus and talks about the importance of elders being able to uh, use sound doctrine to sift the false and turn it away uh, from the flock and to, to hold on to the true.